Hey guys, we are here and we're gonna talk about why you should play Sparrow Knights. Sparrow Knights is a MMORPG created in 2011 with a rich story and history behind it. In the game the player controls a Knight of the Sparrow Order which has crash landed on the mysterious planet Cradle. Here you find yourself exploring the planet full of diverse creatures lurking within the clockworks. Cradle is full of surprises and story twists accompanied with a friendly and supportive community. Now let's look at all the pros the game has. As I said before it has a very loyal and friendly community which usually groups together into guilds that are commonly willing to help new players arriving into the game. The game itself is completely for free and all purchases within the game can be made with the game currency you get by playing, even the DLC. Spiral Knights is very unique with its story, graphics and gameplay style. The game has unique events which are usually connected to holidays or seasons. It also features some very interesting game mechanics such as a special rewarding crafting system including a lot of variables in it. Other than that it has a very nice game flow where you can easily put a lot of hours into. Spiral Knights is very suitable for a low spec PC and it also has a very fast download time since it's only 1GB. Now with all that said, let's look at some of the cons. The game can be somewhat grindy, even though it is rewarding, it may not suit some players. It's only playable on PC, and even though it does have a loyal and friendly community, the game is not as populated as it could be. And it does not receive new big updates anymore. Now, how much would I personally rate the game? I spent a lot of hours in the game and I'd be lying if I said I didn't like it. The story of the game is solid and gets even more interesting with unexpected twists. Gameplay is very satisfying, although it does have rare lag spikes. Also the community within the game is one of, if not the best communities I have ever met. And all in all, I would personally rate the game 8. 0.9 out of 10. But realistically looking, comparing it with its genre, I would have to give it 7.1 out of 10. If you are interested in downloading and trying the game, the link will be in the description. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching the video, I hope it helped you find a new worthwhile game to play. Subscribe to follow me and to help me grow, and as always, have a wunderbar day!